Election Day now just a day away. A record number of registered voters across Tennessee have cast their ballots by mail. Yeah, the surge of people who requested to vote absentee comes as the country enters its seventh month of the coronavirus pandemic, which calls lawmakers to expand early voting mainly by mail. A Knoxville woman who mailed her absentee ballot three weeks ago called WAT6 on your side. Consumer reporter Don Dare when she discovered the envelope took 11 days to travel seven miles. That's right, Bo. Election officials at the election office all across the state, they have a tracker system for absentee ballots. It shows the date the ballot was issued and when it was received from the post office. In our story, two ballots mailed together on the same day at the same place are tracked. Jackson, how about you want cheese? In Knoxville, Kathy Killingsworth has been home a lot since the pandemic struck, taking care of her toy poodles, among other things. Kathy says she and her husband have never missed casting a ballot for president in 50 years. But now at 72 years of age, her husband at 74, and both with some health issues, they requested a mail-in ballot this year. I've been sick. My husband is asthmatic. Um, we thought it'd probably be best if we voted absentee by mail. So we talked it over and applied for our ballots and received them. Kathy said she and her husband completed their write-in ballots at the kitchen counter where she and I were sitting. Then the next day, she drove to Knoxville's main post office on Saturday, October 10th. I went to the main postal facility on Wise Garber Road, walked in and handed the ballots to the gentleman inside. He drops them in a basket. The Knox County Election Commission office and all others across the state made it possible for absentee voters to trace the arrival of their ballot. I thought, well, it might be a good idea to check mine and my husband's both. Checking the Knox County ballot status tracker, Kathy went online and printed a copy of the results. The copy shows the date of issue and when the ballot was received at the Election Commission office. Well, I checked my husband's first and noticed that they had received it. Um, um, October the 16th. Mm -hmm. So that was six days after I had mailed it. So then I went and looked at mine, but mine wasn't received till the 21st of October. The 21st? The 21st. His was received the 16th. Mailed the same day, everything. Absolutely identical. And that's quite a discrepancy, isn't it? Uh, the way I count, a very big discrepancy, especially when they were mailed together. So we did it early, I consider that it's about a month before the election or three weeks. What's happening to other people? At the elections office, Administrator Chris Davis says absentee ballots are accepted only through the mail. Once the signature is verified, the date is recorded, the ballot is scanned and then secured. Six on your side wrote to the U.S. Postal Service. We asked about the 11 days it took for Mrs. Killingsworth ballot to arrive compared to six days for her husband's. In its response, the post office says it is processing a historic volume of political and election mail this season. In an email to Six on Your Side, we were told the Postal Service is committed to delivering election mail securely and in a timely manner. 11 days from the 10th to the 21st. That's not a timely manner. That's coming from the main post office on Wise Garber Road. According to Google Maps, the distance is seven miles from the Wise Garber Post Office to the old Knox County Courthouse where the elections office is located. I, it's not acceptable to me to have something delayed that much as important as it is my vote and my husband's vote. Now, Knox County Election Supervisor Chris Davis told us today his office is at the mercy of the post office for the timely arrival of mail-in ballots. Now, official tabulation of absentee votes does not take place until polls, polls close in each county on Election Day. And, of course, that's tomorrow night, Bo. It's going to be a busy night, that is for sure. Don, thank you. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddarewat.com. You can also call a six-on-your-side hotline number at 865-633-5974.